What's going on guys? Today we're going to look at an Italian Renaissance style house that I designed. So to give you an idea of what the video is going to be about, first we're going to look at a quick concept sketch. Then we're going to look at the design characteristics of an Italian Renaissance style home. Then we're going to look at the details that I chose for my design. We're going to look at the materials and colors I chose. We're going to look at a few precedent studies that I used for uh, design inspiration. And we're going to look at some final renderings. All right, let's get into it. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the rear facade here. So the rear facade is made up of two reverse hips here. And there's a center bay that's sort of inset. And then on the left and right, there's these porticos with columns. So the second story of these hips, they have three arced windows. And this is a very common trait of an Italian Renaissance style. And the windows and doors below these three arced windows will have a Palladian-like arrangement. We'll go over that in a little bit. So the center of the house here has four doors with four windows directly above them. And these windows will have shutters on each side. These are all casement windows. And there's a precast band that goes through the middle of the entire house. And this one's identical to the other hip. And there's a cupola right in the center of the roof. And symmetrical tall chimneys with ornate chimney caps. And the roof is actually a terracotta clay tile. And cue the very dramatic and slow zoom out shot. And this is me throwing some color on the drawing to get an idea of what I want to do with the color scheme. Okay, so this is a look of the final rendering of the rear. So some characteristics and moves that I wanted to implement in this house were ornamental chimney caps, a cupola which has three arches, this is very common. Um, we have corbels here. We have a balustrade above those porticos to have balconies off the second floor. We have the low-pitched terracotta clay roof. And we have those arcade-like porticos on each side. I included precast detailing all along the first floor. And on these reverse hips here, we have a Palladian fenestration arrangement, which basically means there's an arc sort of window or door with two flanking windows on the left and right. Then we have a stucco on the second floor, and we have casement windows throughout the house. And we also have shutters on just these four windows here on the second floor. So to give you a close up look of all these details, this is the window surround on the second floor. This is what's surrounding the door on the first floor. We have these windows on the second floor with uh, the shutters on the left and right and the precast detailing on top. We have these roof dormers and the cupola with the three arches on each side. We have these chimneys with the ornamental cap and these arcade porticos on the left and right. And this is the detail surrounding the doors and the windows on the first floor of the hip bump out. So on the first floor, I used a beige precast. On the second floor, we have a light beige stucco dark bronze windows and doors, a terracotta clay roof, and this has brown, orange, and gray tones. And then we have the white shutters for those uh, windows on the second floor. So you know, all these pieces come together to create one entire house. I like to think of a house as separate pieces that sort of come together to create a full design. So let's take a look at some precedent studies that I used to get my idea. So we have Villa Erba, The Breakers, and Villa Balbiano. For Villa Urba, I used the volume and the window layout for the rear facade here. You can see it's kind of similar to what I did. And also the Belvedere and cupola that they have. It has three arcs, that's what I used in my cupola. For the breakers, they have a Palladian uh, architectural sort of feature here with the door in the middle and the two windows on the left and right. So I used that in mine. And Villa Balbiano has the ornamental chimney caps and the beige stucco that I liked. And they also have those windows with the shutters on the left and right with that precast detailing that I used. So just to give you an idea, this is Villa Arbo with my design laid on top. So you can see the similarities. The breakers, like I said, that Palladian window arrangement. And for Villa Balbiano, I have all the windows, shutters, the dormers, and the ornamental chimney caps. That's what I used there. And these are some final images of my design. So you can get a close look. And 
and this is the final rendering of the rear facade. Yeah, so I hope you guys like videos like this. I really like making these videos. Let me know in the comment section what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.